Hi Inside Eaters! Today we are going to prepare artichokes. Two kinds of recipes, typical of Rome. Let's go to the garden because Simone is waiting for us with some artichokes. Let's see what, what he picked up for us, okay? Let's go. Simone! Here we are, yeah! Wow! Here we are, yeah! Wow! Look at these artichokes! Great, great! These are Roman artichokes, Roman mammole! Roman artichokes! Mammole is called! It's a viola mammola, come Napoli says, a viola mammata! <laughs> oh, solo me! Let's go to the kitchen! Stein from the te! Oh, sole me! Come on, chef, come on! Stein from the te! I sing like a bell. What's your name? Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Simone. What do you prefer to, to be called? Vincenzo. 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 Don Vincenzo. No, Vincenzo. It's like Vincent. A, Don, Don Vincenzo. Like no, a Vincent. Vincent, uh, like Don in Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm Simon. So, let's start to do what? We have to clean our artichokes. Well, those beautiful artichokes. And Simone, I wanted to ask you something. Tell me, uh, tell me. As you, people can see here, we have two uh, bowl with cold water. Yeah. And I have parsley, and you have. Uh, this is lemon. not for wash your no, hands. No, no, no. Because it's very important when we prepare the okay. artichokes. Uh, as soon as possible after cleaning them, you, we need to put it in the cold water, and because they get um, dark and black, they in, can be a few oxidized. Seconds. Okay. Yes. Uh, to avoid this, we have two. Um, two ways. One is with lemon that gives some acidity to the water okay. and the other one is with uh, parsley stalks uh, that don't give uh, acidity to the water but give you the same result. If you don't want acidity in your recipe uh, use parsley stalk. If you don't care and if lemon is okay for you you can use lemon. Okay. okay. So I, I put lemon. my my parsley stalks in the in water. Yeah. Simple like And that. I squeeze my lemon inside the water. Like this. So let's start cleaning the artichoke, Simone. Yeah. I, I give to you the, the biggest one. The biggest this is one. It's beautiful. I, I, I want you to. This is like a flower. <laughs> it Do is you a know flower. That? It, is, it a is, flower. is a flower. It is a flower. In fact, uh, every year to my anniversary, <laughs> I give it to, to my wife. This flower is a beautiful bouquet of artichokes. Someone can think that it's even happy. better She's than the uh, other kind of flowers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, to clean the artichokes, it's quite simple. Uh, we have to get rid of all, all these um, external leaves. Yeah. As you can see, they are completely purple outside. So, let's start removing these leaves. I took the biggest one. I'm gonna cut also the stem. Okay. Okay, leave the stem five centimeters, like this. Okay. Since we are going to prepare the Carciofiella Romana, I leave also a bit more, okay? Yeah. Then I get rid of flowers. Re remove the, the petals. The, the, the purple flower. Remove the purple flower. Yeah. And stop when the leaves become half green or yellow and half purple. So as you can see, now I have three, four purple. I can keep on removing. What a wonderful sound when the artichoke is very fresh. Listen. <laughs> huh? OK. OK. So I think this is mine enough. Is, mine is okay, yes. But it's okay too? Mine too. Half okay. green, half purple, okay? Okay. Then with a sharp knife, we need to remove this part of the artichoke and cleaning. Okay. The I start from the top. It's the same. Okay, this way. And then? After doing this? Next step. You can show how to remove the top of the artichoke, yeah. okay? Insert your knife like this. Turn the artichoke. I put the knife in this position, as you can see. Not completely flat like this, exactly. but a bit exactly. diagonally. And last will be like a rose. See? Remove this part too in the middle. And then I got this tool to remove the pistol inside the artichoke. We call it the bird, the bird of the artichoke. Okay. It's like a fur that we don't we don't need. You know? We don't need this fur. Um, Here. This is not good in your mouth. 
if we prepare yeah. other kind of recipe where the artichoke is completely cut, it's most simple because when you cut it, then it's more simple to remove it. Since we are going to prepare a recipe that in, uh, are with the, the, the whole artichoke not cut, Simone is doing like this with that. Okay, the hard leaves you can cut the edge like this, you know? Like this. Can I use it? And then, yeah, why not? Thank you. It's yours. And two ways to give acidity to the art shock. Rubbing the lemon directly on the art shock this way, or dive it in the water like this. I won't do it because I don't want acidity, and I put directly to the water with parsley. So keep on cleaning the other artichokes. Yes. Okay. See you later. So Simone, what's now? Your artichokes what's are ready. Artichoke? Yes. Yes, and it's ready. To fill the Roman artichoke, you have to chop on the stem. Mm -hmm. Mint leaves. This is called min mintuccia romana. Mintuccia. I don't know if in the States or in the other part of the world there is mintuccia. Here in Italy, there is mintuccia. Peppermint, it's okay if it's the same. If you can't like find mentuccia. if you can't find mento mentuccia, you can use other herbs like parsley or yeah. marjoram. Yeah, but respect this also the... the recipe. Respect also the recipe. Of course. Okay. Now we're starting to chop. This is the the internal part of the stem of the artichoke. Okay. Yeah. It's more tender. Simone cleaned it completely got, got rid of this part, you see, this way, and he's using only the heart of this, the most tender part, you see, it's quite tender, it's good for cooking. Okay, we are ready, dry well the artichoke. It. it is about a full spoon of uh, herbs and yeah, yeah. Um, before you put in the pan, uh, a little pinch of salt and that's it. Olive oil and what about and the garlic? Garlic, garlic leave the skin of the garlic because probably this is the nightmare for many of you, for the woman, <laughs> for your breath. If you leave the skin, you don't have to worry about it. Crush the garlic, you see, like this. Two cloves of garlic, okay, that's enough. Okay, Don Vincenzo, which is the secret of your recipe? Today? My recipe is called Carciofi alla, alla Giudia. Ah. It means uh, the, the Jewish style from the Hebrew uh, quarter of, of Rome. Uh, it's more simple maybe than a Roman uh, recipe uh, because we don't need uh, leaves or garlic or other, we only need the artichoke because it's fried, okay? It's a simple fried artichoke. The only thing we need to do is to try to open a bit the artichoke this way without breaking the leaves. I broke one. <laughs> without breaking completely the leaves. You are live, don't worry. <laughs> this way. Maybe I can do also like this. Because you will see what happens when we cook it. It will open like a flower, okay? I keep doing the same to the other artichokes. As you can see, artichokes didn't become uh, black. They are not oxidated. So the parsley was useful. And they don't have acidity. That's how artichokes looks like for the different recipe. This is the whole stuffed with herbs, garlic, and other part of the artichoke for carciofi alla romana. And these are artichokes for carciofi alla giudia. Let's move to the kitchen. Well, start with olive oil. Garlic. Start always with cold oil. There is no thermic shock here. Now the oil is hot. 
get the artichoke face down. Listen. Stems too. And let it caramelized. Once the, the stem and the artichoke are caramelized, you can add water. You don't need to go fast. Passions in the kitchen. Passion, okay? The caramel, the sugar of the vegetables. This is very important for the final taste of the, uh, your artichoke. You can remove now the garlic. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Water, just two fingers, remember? Listen, the thermic shock. Like this. Okay, see you in 40 minutes. So I am ready to cook the carciofi alla giudia, the, the Jewish way, we say. In Rome. And the first thing I've done is to drain the artichokes uh, from the excess water since I will be frying in, uh, I deep frying in, uh, in oil. So let's move to the, to, to the stove, okay? I'm going to fry the artichokes two times. Uh, the first time at 140 degrees Celsius and the second time about uh, 160 degrees Celsius. So now I have to wait to reach the temperature. Now we are about 95 degrees and then I will dip the first artichoke. Here we are, I'm reaching the 140 degrees so I'm ready to dip the first artichoke, okay? Here we go. Especially in the first moment I will need to keep the artichoke down. And it will take about 10 minutes for cooking. After the first minutes cooking upside down I can turn also the artichoke with my tongs to make it cook also at the part of the stem. I'm frying in extra virgin olive oil, but you can also fry in regular uh, sunflower seed oil or peanuts oil. After 10 minutes of cooking, as you can see, the artichoke is almost ready, has been cooking at 140 degrees, so I can drain it. I put it on paper towel, just to make it a bit um, lower the temperature. So now we are at 140 degrees and I will bring the oil to 160 degrees. Here we are, 160, I'm ready to dip the artichoke again in the oil. And I will push it like this with my tongs. It will take one or two minutes, not more. And here we are, the artichoke is ready. Carciofo la giudia. Here we are, our carciofi are ready. Carciofi alla Romana and Carciofi alla Giudia. Simone, how do you finish the, the plate? Just to decorate. With the mint. Great. Like this. Great. And you, this is the Carciofi alla Giudia. Crunchy. Sorry, test. <laughs> is it crunchy? Yeah. <laughs> I just put some Parsley and mint. Zest of lemon. And just a sprinkle of extra virgin olive oil. Buon appetito. Enjoy. Ah. Uh.